What's up guys, John here from Pharma Freak, and today our question and topic coming from the comment section from those of you my fans out there is, should you start a poultry farm this year 2023? Well, you want to stick around this video till the end, make sure you watch the entire video because I'm going to be giving to you my sincere opinion why I think you should start a poultry farm this year 2023. And this is going to help influence your investment choices and decisions. And by the end of the video, I will do a combined conclusion, which I'm going to also share some tips and strategies on how to succeed in becoming a good farmer, not just a good farmer, but a profitable farmer this year, 2023. So stick around this video. To begin with, you will bear with me that food is the basic need of man. And regardless of the economic situation, human beings must feed. And since domestic birds are consumable, that makes poultry farming a feasible business in 2023. Secondly, with the increased awareness for health implications for red meat, there's an increase in demand for white meat and chicken or birds being a source of white meat. That makes poultry farming a feasible business in 2023. Thirdly, look at your country and the population. Let's take, for instance, my country, Cameroon, Central Africa, which is a small country with a total population of 27 million. Now, you will bear with me that a huge population means a huge demand for food like eggs and chicken. That simply makes poultry farming a feasible business in 2023. My next point to you is a question. Are you passionate about livestock? And are you satisfied with farm life? If they are both is yes, then certainly you should start your poultry farm this year, 2023. I find so much satisfaction personally whenever I'm with my chicks, with my bird at the farm. I find farm life very satisfying because it is a stress reliever for me each time I'm with my chicks. So this was one of my reasons why I had to quit my job from Bangkok, Thailand as a classroom teacher from where I've been teaching for like 12 years of experience. Good job, good salary, good house. But I had to quit my job for my passion, guys, because I'm passionate about livestock. Came back to Central Africa, Cameroon, and then started up my own poultry farm. Coupled with being passionate about livestock, guys, I will talk about knowledge or experience, guys. Are you knowledgeable about poultry farming? Maybe you are a graduate or you have some poultry work experience or you, are, you, you took some courses about poultry and now you are satisfied with all the basics required or needed for you to start your own poetry farm. I don't want you to go into this business as a total novice, guys. If you think you're satisfied with all the basics, knowledge required for you to start up your farm, come on, guys, you should go in for it. When I first got started, I, I took about two months, visited a farm of one of my friends in Douala. I went to his farm, did some voluntary for like uh, two to three weeks, uh, asked all the necessary questions that I needed to be clarified. I watched videos on YouTube for like one year before even returning back to Central Africa, Cameroon. I followed all videos. I took note. I went to Udemy. I took some courses on poultry farming. Now, when I was satisfied with all that I have gathered, all the knowledge and the experience, I thought it was a time for me to get into my own farm operational. So coupled with the passion of being passionate, it's not just enough if it doesn't go on with the experience and the knowledge. So should all the above be yes for you, then I think you are all set to go in operational this year, 2023. Poetry farming is capital intensive and it's a game of numbers. Like I've heard it said many times, it is what you give to your birds that you get in return. Garbage in, garbage out. I'll leave a link to a video in the description and the top comment of this video, which I titled my top 10 success tips. You want to watch that video where I gave you 10 top success tips on becoming a better farmer, not just a better farmer, but a profitable farmer, guys. 
that video will be in the description and the top comment of this video guys so like i was trying to say it is very capital intensive by this time you must have chosen your niche okay for me i started with brela chickens because i know that i'll have to take care of them from day old right up to 45 days 50 days or maximum 60 days and they are ready for marketing guys and i have my business plan my business goal that every month i'm bringing in two badges of birds guys you want to go with badges if you can afford it if you can afford the necessary finances that you need to run two badges because there is a reason for this firstly i want a quick turnover secondly i want to meet up to my market demand i want to satisfy my customers like for our first batch, we did 1,071. We lost like 24 and now we are left with 1,040 something, guys. Uh, three weeks later, we went in for our second batch of 1,581, which from day old, from day one of picking up the day old chicks uh, due to transportation, we lost about a carton, which was like 49 to 50 birds. You want to watch that video, I'll leave it in the description of this video because when you watch that video, you are going to see uh, the mistakes that we did and the corrections that we've made to achieve better numbers this time around. So what am I trying to say? It is very capital intensive, This depending on how you choose to run your business. Well, you can choose to go in for one batch, run it until market age, sell your bed and then go in for another batch. That way is also okay if you can't afford the huge capital that it is required. But for us, what we are doing here at Pharma Freak, we are doing two badges monthly. Uh, so that every month we should have marketing uh, we should have beds for marketing to meet up with the demand to keep the farm active to keep the workers active because you are paying these workers guys like i told you also on my top 10 tips for better success is go in for professional labor guys now these guys you're paying them salary you can't just afford to do one badge for two months guys it means you have paid, paid them for two months guys but if you are doing two badges for two months guys it means you are meeting up and you are not just giving your profit to these guys don't hear me talk about doing two badges and then you just want to run on doing two badges like you heard me said earlier we did our first badge of 1071 we tested the waters and uh, we did some mistakes and then we corrected them later on our second batch we increased the numbers because we are now good to go guys from basic and now we are going to advance beginners or something like that guys so you want to start small guys want to start small and make sure you have some good capital some good uh uh, operating capital with you that you can afford their feed you can feed them you can provide medication for them until they get to market age guys well john in just one simple word or line or sentence should i start my poultry farm this year 2023 well my sincere answer to that would be yes if you followed all the above and you said yes to all the above now, poultry farming is a highly profitable business. If you can operate it in acceptable ways and in conditions very conducive to birds and chickens, okay? Now, I promise giving you some tips to help guide you to get started correctly, right? That will be a video which I link in the description and the top comment of this video. Go there, you will see a video which I titled my top 10 success tips to get you started on the right path. If you like what I do so far on this channel, please, you want to leave me a thumbs up. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe, turn all bell notifications on so you will be the first to be notified each time I release a new video. Until then, I remain your boy John from Pharma Freak.